It's the most tremendous new musical experience you can have. Alright, what's up y'all? It's Logan, and I'm here bringing y'all this review to this newest Still Baby project called Blame It On Baby. Uh, now, as y'all know from watching my podcast this past week, a lot of projects came out um, last night. And this was, of course, one of them. Apart from this, also we had West Side Gun, RA The Rugged Man Division, and Tech 9 And I gotta say, I'm very torn over choosing to listen to this one first. Now, the reason I chose to listen to it is because I figured, you know, baby, easy to get a review for him. It's not like he has, like, that in-depth content, content that you have to dive deep into, just get a couple listens in, and boom, you can get a review out. It's short, 13 songs, 33 minutes. Um, so that's my reasoning for that, even though I was more excited for other projects. But either way, I am torn because, one... Obviously, I got the review out quick. You know, this is going up the day that it will re released. It released at midnight. It should be up, you know, 3, 4, 5 o'clock Friday. So, that's awesome. But I have gotten through the other four albums, and I definitely chose to listen to the worst one first. Um, <laughs> that being said, is this a horrible project? No. No, it's not horrible. It's got some positives. And I'm going to do a track by track for the most part. Have a little bit more to say about some tracks than others. Some tracks I might not have anything to say about, but we're going to see where this takes us, all right? So just reading based off of my notes that I jotted down, um, intro track, Can't Stop. Um, of course, he starts out with the same flow, a little variation. You know, he overpronounces some of his syllables that add some emphasis. I thought that was pretty fun, pretty enjoyable. Overall, what you want to do with an intro track to get you hype, get you like, okay, this could be a fun record. Um, but again, it's very repetitive, and the hook just sucks. The hook sucks. Uh, you, you have to listen to it to get it, but it's just very repetitive and just not very well thought out. Uh, now, after that, you have the um, joint track with him and Quavo called Pick Up. Uh, which is, it has a very minimalistic beat, and I'm going to repeat that multiple times, but it does allow you to focus on their rapping. The baby uses the same flow as usual. Quavo tries on this one. Um, you know, sometimes he's known for phoning it in, but he tries on this one. And together they have some good chemistry. Overall, it's a pretty solid track uh, that I think is enjoyable, but again, it just doesn't have that uh, staying power that a lot of the baby hits have. Uh, it's another just generic track from him, I feel like. Um, after that, you get the song Light Skin-ish, uh, featuring Future, uh, and of course it's another Jetson made beat, uh, so you know how th those two work together, <laughs> um, even though the beats all sound the same, just like the flows, but overall this song is pretty fun, pretty enjoyable. Future is very underused though, he gets like 30 seconds of play to be the biggest artist that DaBaby's worked with probably, so that's pretty disappointing, uh, but Future does his thing, um, he definitely uses a lot of auto-tune, auto -tune, which contrasts well with the sound of the baby on this one, who's not using much, if any, at all, and is just going with his natural flow. Uh, it's, it's a pretty decent track, though, again, but not that much to stand out. Um, after that, talk about it. I uh, don't have much to say about that one other than that it's generic. Fun flow, fun beat, but, you know, again, not a hit, not a miss. Um, after that, we have the song Sad-ish, like Sad-ish. Um, pretty much does the same... Uh, like he's just singing on this one. Um, kind of slows it down a little bit. Tries to make a sad track. Uh, a little bit of a variation in his flow where he's just kind of slowing it down some. I thought that was pretty enjoyable, and I actually enjoyed this track. You can tell that he's putting some energy into it. Uh, it was the first track where I said, okay, he's trying to do something different here on um, on this album. You know, trying to impress us a little bit. Does he? Eh, you know. But it, it's a decent track. It's a decent track. Um, Find My Way was the single. Uh, the hook's a little kind of enjoyable, but also very, very unstructured and not good per se. Still a decent track, but I wasn't that impressed whenever I first heard it um, and then coming back to it. like It was a little better, but still not, not one that's sticking with me. Now after that, we have Rockstar featuring Roddy Rich, and this song is one that's probably going to stick with me. I did add it to a um, playlist, actually. Uh, it's got a softer beat. And some sad introspective vibes on this one. He's definitely wearing his heart on a sleeve where he's just rapping. Um, he's just rapping a lot about like introspective things, things about his life and stuff like that. And then, of course, Roddy comes out and he doesn't stand out 
per se. That's not to say that's a positive or a negative. Like, he doesn't stand out in a bad way or a good way. He's just kind of on this track, and he works. But I wish he, they could have done more with him. But overall, I think this was one of the best. This is probably the best track so far in the track list. Um, now, after that, we have the song Jump featuring NBA Youngboy. And I was not looking forward to this because I don't like NBA Youngboy. But, um, again, back to the hype tracks after the previous three, like, slower, kind of sadder vibes. Um, and you'd think that'd be fun. And these two do work well together. Like, they have pretty good chemistry on this record. But, my God, the beat is horrible. Um, not only is it minimalistic, but it sounds like it was made by recording and mixing sounds that you would hear in a daycare. Like, you just went there and recorded them, put them on a keyboard, and just played them randomly. It's awful. I cannot stress that to you enough. So, this is a pretty bad track, strictly because of that. Um, not saying that their rapping does much to improve it either. It's just not bad. But the beat, awful. Now after that, you have Champion, which is another another fun song, a fun hook that makes a solid uh, solid use of auto-tune. Um, but then it continues that through the verses and kind of overuses the auto-tune a little bit to where um, it just doesn't sound that good. Which sucks because the baby actually has a good natural voice that I enjoy hearing him rap on. So I don't feel why he needs, I don't see why he needs to use stuff like that. Um, on top of that, the beat, while it is decent to start with it gets rather annoying and repetitive as it goes on and just it doesn't do anything different um and after that you have drop featuring a boogie with a hoodie um and on this one boogie sounds a lot more like something he would have like his verse on here sounds a lot more like something that would have been on hoodie season rather than on artist 2.0 which in case you didn't know in case you hadn't seen the reviews Hoodie Season, I enjoyed. I don't actually have a review for that one, but I enjoyed that one. I thought that was a pretty solid project. Artist 2.0, I hated that one. Uh, so, that's how I felt about that. But either way, he came in and he had a pretty good verse on here. And they, again, they work well together. Although, at some times, both of them sound like they're using auto-tune that's like not properly mixed and not properly finished. Uh, but still a fun track. I wouldn't say it's a keeper, but, you know, overall, a decent track. Um... After that, we have Blame It On Baby, which has a minimal beat to begin with. Uh, but the fun thing about this one is there's like three or four beat changes. Um, and this allows him to flow all over the track. And he goes very aggressive on this one. Um, this is definitely his most rapping performance, if not on ju just on this record. Like, well, if not in, in his entire discography, definitely on this record. Let me say that. Um, he has a funny line on here where he basically says like, how can I how can I change the beat up when I can't even change my flow up? But again, you know, the beat changes great. All the beats work well, and he is just rapping very aggressively and very well on this one. I thought that this was probably the best song on here overall. Uh, now after that, you get Nasty with Ashanti and Megan the Stallion. And as you know, him and Megan have great chemistry together, although they pretty much only rap about sex and in a nasty way, like this track says. Um, and on this one... The baby comes in very aggressively to start with, as does Megan, but that does not work over the beat of this song. Like the song, the, the beat is actually pretty soft, and they're going in aggressive. And, and I think it would have worked better if they went in soft, like the baby did on his second verse. He goes in soft, and it worked very well. Although I do have to say, the biggest positive about this one is that Ashanti sings all over the hook, and it works very well. She does great. Um, and then to end it off, Amazing Grace just really does not do anything to really impress. So, I mean, not that it's a bad track either. It just does not do much. So overall, is this a disappointment? No, but it's not a gem either. Like, it's 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 a decent album that works in the sense that uh, it's a DaBaby album. You know, you know what you're going in expecting this one to be. Is it his best? No. Is it his worst? Probably, yes, out of his big three um, that have come out. So, I mean, he doesn't have that big hit that you can usually expect from him. So... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this one, y'all. I heard what I thought about every single track, so overall, I'm giving this one a 5 out of 10. I thought it was pretty much just run to the mill, like, nothing crazy, but I'm not disappointed. This is about what I went into it expecting, so, um, if y'all enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment, and sub. Make sure to hit the bell next to my name for notifications. Share this video so everyone can watch it. I appreciate y'all watching this one, and I will hit y'all up next time.